morning, wherever the hell you're watching it from, wherever time it is, I hope that it's going well. Welcome to the Just One Beer Show with me, your host, Danny Soleil, aka Travel Man Dan. Oh man, today is going to be super exciting. I'm really pumped up. I'm excited for the beer that we're going to be drinking today. It's going to be something new, something creative. It's something from our hometown. And I'm really psyched about it. But before we get started, I want to go ahead and let you know a little bit about this show. Hey, Bill's Mafia, what's up? You know it, baby, you know it. We are on our way. What an amazing win last night. That was great. We got the Bill's stuff hanging up. You know, first thing I would like to bring is uh, Thunder Strudel. <laughs> okay, so I know these things are really sporadic. I'll let you know. Uh, they're, they're just basically sporadic uh, beer shows, just one beer. Hey, Jens, how you doing? Welcome. And uh, there is no time, there's no set time here, Wonder Strudel, for this particular stream. Because I'm at home, um, hey, Baro, welcome. Because I'm at home for the holidays and because it's COVID, I thought it'd be fun, I thought it'd be creative to make a new show. <laughs> and um, it's just, hey, what's up? And uh, this is it, it's just one beer. It's not a whole weekly beer and video review show. That is every Sunday. But this one will be popping up while I'm at home. Because it's COVID, because it's the holidays, we really can't do much. I'm stuck in my hometown and um, in my parents' house here in Tonawanda, New York. And so I thought it'd be fun to pop up each and every day. Welcome. Um, crowd. Yes, you guys are going to love it. We got a fun show. Um, you know, so this is just one beer and uh, we've got a really fun one today, Wonder. Uh, Steve is with us, my little brother Steve. You've seen him some episodes before. He was unable to make it so well. We popped up a picture of Steve. Hey, Steve. It was a picture of Jesus, but we switched it out and um, well... <clears throat> He's here. I know people enjoy when Steve's on the show, so I thought I would put him on blast. Hey, all right. Well, we got some regulars in the house. Hey, come on. Welcome. Good morning. All right. I like how you wake up to a beer with me. And, um, you know, I was just telling Wonder Strudel that this is the weekly beer, or this is the other show that I'm doing. This will stop come January 2nd. So after January 2nd, I will go ahead and stop this one, and then we'll go back to the weekly show. This is just fun. Um, I'm not an alcoholic. I don't drink every day. I really only drink two beers every week. That's it, just for the show. So, um, yeah. This is it, okay? And um, I got a really fun beer for us today. It's, um, I don't know what you call this one, a bit of a crafty beer, a bit of um, a collaboration. It's from the brewery that we went to the last few nights and we had that uh, circle the wagons. Hey, 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 go Buffalo. But today we're gonna be trying another beer from Resurgence Brewing Company, and it is called the Imperial Sponge Candy Stout. How long are you gonna stay at your home? Till January 2nd. This is it, this is Resurgence. Uh, <laughs> that's okay, you know, it's the holidays. Come on, you can wake up late. This is the Sponge Candy Imperial Candy Stout. Okay, so it is a stout. Now you may be wondering, what is sponge candy? I've never, I've never heard what sponge candy is. Let me tell you a little bit about this beer and then I'll tell you a little bit about it. It says, Imperial Stout is a collaboration with Watson's Sponge Candy. There it is again, Watson's Sponge Candy. And Watson's is a local chocolate shop here in Buffalo, New York. And everyone's pretty much familiar with a few things in Buffalo. And that's, uh, of course, the Bills and the Sabres. You got your chicken wings. You got your chicken finger sub and sponge candy. Uh, there's a couple other little things like Loganberry. Who's ever had Loganberry? Let me know down in the comments below if you've ever had Loganberry. Only place I've seen it here is here in Buffalo. But sponge candy is a type of candy made by, well, it's not just made by Watson's, but it's made by many places here in Buffalo. And Resurgence has done an imperial you were a sub in my school. <laughs> yes, welcome. I have one of my students in my house. Welcome to the show. I've never heard of the things mentioned. Okay, so hold on. I'm going to teach you some more, Wonder Strudel. So <clears throat> I told you it's a collaboration. It's kind of a, a spin-off with Watson's Candy and Sponge Candy. And look what I just happened to have right here is a box of sponge candy. Who's a photo? That's Steve, Barrel. Little bro Steve. <laughs> All right, so... 
Let me teach you guys a little bit about sponge candy. I've eaten a lot. There's a few pieces left that I saved for this video, but this is it, right? This is it. It's a piece of milk chocolate. It's very light. Viewpoint classes were so fun. <laughs> Thank you so much, Tyler versus Lola. I miss you. I loved teaching there. I thought you kids were great. I loved each and every time that I was able to, to go there and teach you guys. So please, I know that you're going through a hard time right now with school. I hope that you guys bounce back, uh, stay strong. You're going to come out of this thing spiritually, emotionally, physically, hopefully all better. And um, please say hi to everyone over at Viewpoint. I miss you guys. <laughs> it was a fun school to teach at. But this is what we're talking about now. This is made in Buffalo, New York. Thank you. All right. And this is the sponge candy. It's light. I can imagine that he's an entertaining teacher. <laughs> yeah, it was good stuff over there. And I want to show you what's so special about this. It's milk chocolate, but I'm going to bite into it and show you what's like in the inside. Now, this is a really popular candy here in Buffalo, and I've never seen it any other place. So let me know down below if you've ever had this type. So here we go. Mmm. All right. Lots of milk, but check it out. That's why it gets its name, sponge candy. And there's a lot of places here in Buffalo that make this. My opinion, Watson's is the best. The store is in Kenmore, right on Delaware Ave. Um, it's not super strong. It's a... Mm, so good. It's got a nice, perfect milk chocolate taste to it. And then that sponge, that sponge candy is a bit of a butterscotch almost like, but it's really airy. It's very light. And well... I'm really excited to try this beer here because Resurgence did a collaboration with Watson's and this exact sponge candy. So I've already eaten a piece of sponge candy. Now I'm going to go ahead and crack this sponge candy stout. Let's see. It's ripping in at how much percent alcohol? Oh, 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 oh boy. All right. This one's a power one. Okay. It's a 10% alcohol. <whistles> okay. So, good thing this is just one beer, because uh, as you kids at Viewpoint would call me, Mr. D is uh, probably going to get a little saucy. So here we go. Let's pour. Wow, look at that pour. <laughs> oh, yes. Look at that right there. You can see that's taking the look of a, a nice, beautiful piece of chocolate, if you will. Look at that. Oh, it looks so delicious. Look at the foam on this thing. Now, I don't know if you're a, a porter or a stout person. I am not thrilled with it well it's basically two beers yeah that's right yeah <laughs> that's a good way to look at it wonder strudel i like that but look at this just like the inside of that piece of chocolate um <laughs> that looks scary look at this just like the in inside of this chocolate the foam has risen to the top of this glass and it looks like the inside of one of these pieces of milk chocolate it's about the same color. Maybe the milk chocolate was a little bit orange. So whatever they flavored inside this beer, I'm going to see how close they get to it tasting like this original piece of Watson's sponge candy. So let me go ahead and try it out. It's a 10 percenter, but um, Brother Steve has approved. Actually, Brother Steve had purchased this for me. So thank you, Steve. So here we go. Let's go ahead and give it a good swig. Almost missed the show. Had a break. I forgot. Go Bills. Yes, Bubba. Woo-hoo. All right. We are rocking. Yeah, this is this is the impromptu uh, just one beer. Uh, we're going to be doing the regular weekly show every Sunday. But Bubba, you are from Buffalo. You are familiar with sponge candy. This is the resurgence sponge candy from Watson's collaboration. So I don't know if you've ever tried this. It's a candy stout, and let's go ahead and take a swig. Oh, oh. wow. Mm. Ooh, that's good. Wow. Oh, Ma, you're going to love this one. <laughs> My Ma don't drink beer, but wow. That is so good. It's smooth, it's creamy, it's got the same exact delicious taste as these light and airy cubes of milk chocolate. I gotta go back in and bite one of these. Mmm. Wow. Wow. Take a look again. That's what, look at the little pocket of airiness going on in this thing. Do you guys have this type of chocolate? What do you call it? Is it called something else? Do you call it sponge candy? Beautiful. 
Beautiful, delicious piece. Haven't had it in a few years. My favorite was a candy store. Batavia, I can't remember the name. I'll tell you the name. I've been there. Why am I forgetting it? I did a video on it. Yes. If you go back to my earlier videos, Baba, you can see I went to that candy store. It was called, um, oh, damn. I can't believe I completely blanked out. I know the store you're talking about. If you go back to my videos about two years ago, you'll see me and Steve buy some sponge candy. And that is the video. Shout out to you, Junatic, where Junatic watched it and I pick up these liquor chocolates. This was like two years ago. And then that's where she got the idea. Boy, I wanted to send him some liquor chocolates. So thank you so much. Oh, what is the name of that place in Batavia? I forget the name of it. Um, cool. Yeah, look for the video. It's pretty neat. It's, and it's around Christmas time. But this is what we're drinking. Resurgence it is a n nice popping brewery. We're going to be doing a lot of beers from them for the next few days. I'm not getting paid for them. There's no ad sponsorship with them. It's just what my little brother bought. And it's a lot of collaborations. So let's go back into it. Oh, my gosh. You know, typically some of these... Black beers are tough to put down, but just like the label says, it's like a candy stout. And I love, absolutely love candy. Love me some chocolate. And when it's this chocolate, when it's the sponge candy chocolate, it's such a perfect combination of delicious taste mixed in there with the perfect right amount of stout where it's creamy, it's smoothie, it's nice and relaxing. And I'm really enjoying this. I will say this though. Because it is not only 10%, but um, you don't want to drink a lot of these. These things get heavy. And after, I would say, for even for me, who has a pretty iron stomach, probably about three of them is the max. But these are also bigger. These are pint glasses. So I believe there's 16 ounces. Yeah, one pint. You don't want to be drinking too much of these, man. It, it, just, it just lays too heavy. Um... You probably can't get through more than two or three. After one, you're feeling good. You don't want to go ahead and damage that palate or that stomach and just keep sucking these down. So one is what I suggest. And they are quite expensive. They come in a four pack and I believe they're about $15. So they're pretty expensive in terms of one beer. I mean, you're not at a bar, you're buying it, you're taking it home. But to enjoy maybe before or after dinner, just one beer, just like the show, I definitely recommend it. Tastes exactly like Watson's sponge candy. And um, yeah. Mm. Wow. It's not very often I go ahead and I drink beer and eat chocolate, but it's remarkable how close in taste this beer tastes like this sponge candy chocolate we're down to our last piece and um yeah sometimes when you have these collaborations and we got a few more to go here in buffalo sometimes when you have these collaborations well they can completely miss on it and it tastes nothing like the food itself but not this one really uh bubba i know you're out there if you haven't haven't tried this one or if you're in western new york uh, shoot down to Buffalo, find a resurgence. You can probably get it at any one of the consumer's beverages um, and, and try it out. It's delicious. But like I said, strong and, um, well, it lays heavy in your stomach. So you won't be able to drink too many of them. Ah. Wow. Delicious. All right. So uh, I'll look for it next time I'm home. I wish we had a consumer's up here. <laughs> yeah. Consumer's. Guys, if you don't know what Consumers is, Baba was born in Buffalo, I believe, or Western New York. It's our local, like, beer kind of place or whatever. It's not a supermarket, but it's pretty close to a supermarket. And um, I've been all over the world. I've been to a lot of places. Pendleton, nice. I've been to a lot of places. And even in Los Angeles, they got, like, mega, gigantic, like, huge... Uh, Walmart size, like BevMo and Total Wine and more, but the beer selection isn't that big. You go to Consumers Beverages and they have a ton of pop or soda, and then they have an enormous selection of beers. I mean, 
They have cases, 30 packs, and then just coolers that wrap around for days of all types of micro brews or, you know, I guess that's what we used to call them in the 90s is micro beers. But um, when Pete's Wicked Al first came out and things like that, but now they're called craft beers. I don't know what the difference is, but they have tons of them. If you get a chance, check it out. If you're ever in the Western New York area, I believe there's probably about maybe 20 locations. And I used to work at one. I used to work at one with BC. Uh, the guy I had on the other day, we were doing the, the 40 show, the double 40 show. And that place was awesome, man. We would we would literally like get through two, three hours of the shift. And then we'd start drinking some beers in the back. <laughs> it was so fun. Like the last two, three hours were like being at a bar. And um, I was probably, man, 20, 21 years old when I first started there. And I held the job for a couple of years, but you also in New York State you can you can take in your recyclable. So this one is worth, let me see, five cents. Yeah, five cents. So what you do is like say you buy a case of beer, they add it on uh, once you go ahead and purchase it. So twenty four beers is considered a case in the United States times a nickel. And um, then after you're done with it, you'd put it back. And what people do is maybe they're big heavy drinkers or maybe they're drink for the whole month and then they bring it all back to places like consumers or your local bottle recycle place and then they can cash in another 20 bucks i mean some people would bring in hundreds of bucks i know people in los angeles that make a living off it they just go around and they collect cans and bottles out of the garbage so i'm not sure if your country or if your state or if your city does recycling if you're in the united states i believe almost every state does but here in new york cans are a nickel and uh the bottles are as well i think the only thing that is no they don't have them anymore i forget i forget what there was something else that was a little bit of 10 cents but i forget what it was i think it was like a, a heavier bottle from the 80s anyway if you're just hopping on we're talking about consumers Check it out, guys. We've got the Sponge Candy Imperial Stout from Resurgence Beer. It is a black, delicious sponge candy tasting beer. I'm really enjoying it. Already, I can feel the 10% hitting me. It is a collaboration where they go ahead and they made it just like the iconic Buffalo Candy. The reason I call it the Buffalo Candy is because I haven't seen this anywhere else. Um, maybe parts of like southern Ontario, just before Toronto. Uh, you might find it down in Fort Erie or Hamilton and stuff. But um, it's just a crossover of Buffalo, but really delicious. Once again, I'll go ahead and bite into it, show you guys what it's like on the inside. Mmm. Mmm. It just melts in your mouth. All right, check that out. It's that airy, spongy, and then coat it with a perfect milk chocolate. Watson's is the name of the place. Resurgence is the name of the brewery. And here we go. Delicious. Hey, <laughs> a hot man. Thank you. Thank you, XJ. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, it is a little hot in here, too. I got all the lamps and whatever. And one thing that's cool about it is, you know, this is my parents' house, my grandparents' house. And uh, it's fun picking a new spot each and every day to go ahead and film from. Yesterday, we were down in the uh, the basement. The day before that, we were up upstairs in my room. The day before that, in front of the Christmas tree. I'm really excited about this, though. Bubba, check this out, guys. I hope that uh, one day I get to see each and every one of you guys. But I picked up a bunch of these for all my homies back in... Uh, back in california and it is the anchor bar all right the anchor bar hot sauce check these out if you like chicken wings and you have ever heard them called buffalo chicken wings that's because they're stated to come from this place called the original anchor bar and if you haven't seen my video i did a video on that you can go check out my playlist of the chicken wings but these are these little bottles i go ahead and i give them to as gifts when i go back to california um you got your medium one you got your Infernal Suicidal, and you got your Hotter, which is, um, well, this is how you can order. I think I have another different one in here. I got them for my <laughs> great sauce. I usually pick up some of Tops when I'm there. Yeah, Tops is great for them. Right now, there are two for, I forget what they are. I, I, I don't remember the price, but I bring it back uh, for my coworkers, for my friends that want to try it. It's a really fun gift because... You know, people love chicken wings. They love the, that buffalo sauce. And they want it from the authentic Anchor Bar, the original buffalo wing place. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. Or just Google the Anchor Bar. You can learn all about it. It's really exciting. 
Guys, we're wrapping up just one beer. I'm only having one. I'm gonna go meet Pops and Ma for some food. We might get into some martinis a little bit later, but this is Watson's Sponge Candy, and this is Resurgence's Sponge Candy Stout. So sweet. Hey, Alan. What's up, man? Welcome to the show. Excuse me. I don't mean to talk when I got food in my mouth. Welcome to the show, Alan. Looks delicious. Yeah, it's so good. Yeah, it really is. I gotta be honest with you. It's, um, like I said, I'm like, I'm not getting sponsored, but um, this is the place. It's called Watson's Sponge Candy. It's in Kenmore on Delaware Ave. If you ever get a chance, I'll be sure to go ahead and put the description in the, in the description, the link for it. And also this brewery, Resurgence. So if you're ever in Western York, if you ever want to go to their website, check out either one, the Sponge Candy or the um, the, the brewery. I just remember the name of this. Oliver. Hey, dude, I can't believe that slipped my mind. Thank you so much. Yeah. And like I said, a lot of places do Sponge Candy in Buffalo. So don't feel like you need to go to Watson's. But I definitely, I've had them all. And for me, Watson's makes the best milk chocolate. And it's weird. I don't know about you guys, but... <clears throat> As I as I got a little bit older, I um I turned to the dark chocolate flavor more. I like the dark chocolate more. I don't know what happened. I just I just like it more. And um, they do make that, and they also make one of orange chocolate and probably I think white chocolate. So you do have some options. Anyway, this is the show. Just one beer. I'm gonna be back tomorrow. I'm not sure what time. Just keep an eye on it. Enjoy the visit with family, bro. My family up there was big on the Logan Berry. <laughs> yes, Logan Berry. That's awesome. And it's called Aunt Rosie's Loganberry, guys. If you've ever had that, you're from Buffalo. Anyway, this is what we're drinking, the Imperial Sponge Candy Stout from Resurgence. I'm going to go ahead and whack this down, give you the score, dip out of here, and I'll be back tomorrow. I have more dark chocolate, too. Can't handle lactose these, though. <laughs> Later, Bubba. Thanks for stopping by, man. Merry Christmas to you and your family. I guess it's over, so pretty soon, Happy New Year. But anyway, here we go. Wonder Strudel, thank you so much. Yes, sir, I'll try to take tomorrow. Thank you, Alan. Wonder Strudel, good to see you. Delicious beer. Tastes just like the candy. And for that, I'm going to give it a good score. Now, I'm not a huge fan of stouts, like I said before. You can only drink one, two, three. After that, you brought a stomach ache. You might even have to leave the party earlier. But, um, but this one, make no exception, is delicious. It's got a delicious taste just like the candy. And I like candy a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a great score of a nine. Yes, Jen, see you tomorrow. Good night all the way there in Norway. Resurgence Imperial Stout Sponge Candy from Watson. So the collaboration gets a nine. Thank you so much for joining me today on Just One Beer. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm not sure what time. Click on the notifications to let you know when I pop up on live. And um, we'll have another fun beer to drink. I'll see if we can do another collaboration with food. Excuse me. But thanks for stopping by. I'm Travel Man Dan. And remember, it's a big world out there. Make sure you see every bit of it.